Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to be talking about super simple Etsy SEO, and this one is about gifts. And this is for gifts of all seasons, times, shapes. Um, you can do them all throughout the year. Um, okay, so I probably will be making some notes over here because I am going to be... Um, putting the the ones that we come up with into the description below so that you can maybe have them. Um, I'm also going to link to my seasonal post that will let you walk through all the holidays of the years, all the things that are happening. But what I wanted to start with is how your vernacular about what it is could be completely different than what is, you know, important in search. So this is Marmalade. They do a, um, they have uh, information about searches done in Etsy itself. Um, it is a paid service, but um, I wanted to do, a, we're going to be doing a bunch of work in Marmalade today to find out which best which are the best opportunities for us for gifts. Um, and as you can see, even though I say present, like I get my children presents, um, everybody else in the world calls them gifts. So we are gonna call them gifts today. Okay, so one question that came up for me is, especially with Christmas, um, is it better to put Christmas gifts that, or to put um, just gifts for kids, right? Christmas gifts for kids or just gifts for kids. And this is in Google Trends rather than a um, Etsy specific search because I really wanted to find out, you know, should we be putting at Christmas time, Christmas in our keywords or even in the holiday? even if it isn't a present, even if it isn't related to Christmas. So I'll give you an example of that. Like these are amazing toys from My Big World Playscapes, right? So none of these are actually, oh, this one could be, it looks like it has maybe a Christmas tree. If she has a nativity, um, if she has a nativity scene, then that would be Christmas, Christmas, but these aren't particularly Christmassy. So I was thinking, should we put Christmas gifts, even if it isn't Christmas? And I think no, based on this. So right around December, and let's do the last five years, because I always like to search for the last five years, and we'll see these giant spikes. But look how much higher the red spikes are than the the. Christmas gifts for kids, right? So that to me says, no, don't try to game the system. Don't try to show up for Christmas because people aren't searching for that anyways. And then the reason why I wouldn't do Christmas unless it was a Christmas decoration or a Christmas um, item is because it hurts your conversion rate. If you got to number one and you were Christmas for kids, and they all wanted stockings for kids, your conversion rate would be horrible. Like you could get a billion views and nobody buys and then Etsy goes, oh my gosh, her shop isn't good for this. So I don't mess with that. So if she has Christmas related items, then yes, absolutely put Christmas in there. But if it's just toys for kids um, or gifts for kids or gifts for children or gifts for um, whatever, then I would not put Christmas in there. So that was my very first one. Um, you know, let's try Mother's Day gifts and let's try gifts for mom. Now, I do think that's a weird one. Um, What is going on? Okay, so gifts for mom in December is good. Mother's Day gifts would be a good one. So I would always check. Now, 
awesome. So now for Mother's Day in your tags, if you have a um, gift that's appropriate for moms, I would definitely make sure I had Mother's Day gift in my tags. Look at these suckers. These are huge compared to gifts for mom. Okay, there you go. But that's why you always want to check. I mean, so many times, I just have taken to checking everything because the other day I was like, um, you know, is baby is baby going to be better or new mom going to be better? I was like, new mom is going to, and new mom had nothing. So always, always check. You can use Google to check. You can use Marmalade to check. You can use a lot of services to check, but make sure you check. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I don't have something that I want to do as a gift. All right. So here is a lot of times what we sort of think of traditionally for a gift. And this is Kathy's Candles and More. She made handmade candles, soap, and bath and body products. So let's take a peek. Gift basket for women. So spa gift basket for women. Ready to ship. So she doesn't have very many keywords in here. She does have more down here. Let me move myself. Spa and relaxation. Look, Mother's Day body. Bridesmaids gifts. She doesn't have gifts for. Okay. And so... So, soy candle. So, this is hard because it's a bunch of different stuff, right? She has lots of stuff. She could take out Bath and Beauty because she gets Bath and Beauty by, the, by her category. Um, college daughter. Hmm. I don't know if she would be getting gifts for college daughter. Um, but she could get gifts for. Okay, this is one I wanted to check and see. Um, cause sometimes this really makes a difference. Okay. Daughter gifts. Let's see if these are different. Daughter gifts. Gifts for daughter. Okay. So daughter gifts, we have 210, we have 211,000 results. Daughter gifts. And now we have 212.5. So four makes a difference. So you want to make sure you have gifts for, because they are returning that gifts for as a different keyword because the numbers are different, right? Um, let's do this, daughter gifts. And gifts for daughters. Oop. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay, gifts for daughters is... Okay, so those are really low searches. Now, that having been said, it's July, right? So we're not getting data from, from gifts for daughters in December. So, but based on this, we can see, um, you know, that, 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 that gifts, daughter gifts is a little bit higher than gifts for daughters. So I would have gifts for in my tags and then daughter's gifts in the top if it was something that was perfect for daughter's gifts, right? Like maybe this is at like lip balms, stocking stuffers for, oh, we got to remember stocking stuffers. Stocking stuffers, because those are gifts, right? And people are always looking for that. And then you also want under. So let's do stocking stuffers. For men, for women, for teens, under. So usually it's like under $25, under $50. Um, so we'll go to Google. And we want to go to real Google. So we'll get the drop-down box. Stocking stuffers under $5, under $10, under $15. Okay. 
So those are the kinds of things that you want to be thinking of when you're positioning your products and even your pricing. Can she split this apart and have, you know, the lipsticks be a stocking stuffer? She is offering, I think, I'm 90% sure, she is offering the free shipping on orders over $35, which I do have a video about this. I think that's great for her. She's selling smaller size products. She's selling consistent products. It works great for her. Um, it's not something that I can do as a vintage seller. I think every seller needs to make their own decisions, but I also feel like Kathy did an amazing job with this. Bam, it's in your face that you get free shipping. Okay, back to gifts. Gifts for sheep dog lovers, dog lovers, um, sheep dog owners, right? So these are just the cutest things. And I could totally get a gift for, you know, um, this for my daughter, whether we have a sheep dog or not. But if you are, if you are focusing on something like this, um, oh, sheep dog stockings. So for sure, Christmas sheep dog, sheep dog stockings. I love kind of what she's doing here. Let's see what she has as her SEO. Let's see. Mantle wall, mantle stocking, whimsy sheep dog stocking, Christmas pet stocking. Oh, I love that. Old English sheep dog stocking. She has too many sheep dogs. She could take some of those. She has four, one, two, three. She has three sheep dogs in there. Are sheep dogs called anything else? Sheep dogs. Now, this is a big question because the sheep dogs is a. So, not the, where are sheep dogs? Dogs afraid of sheep. Sheep dogs are a band, obviously. But this is a thing that I have found, especially with dogs, if you're doing gifts for dog lovers. Um, Westy Scotties, and a whole bunch of them look the same. Old in, um, boxers and something else look the same. And don't forget, oftentimes when people are buying gifts, they don't know what the name of that is. So, um, you know, you may want to throw in a fluffy dog or a, um, you know, if, if you're selling something that's like the Obama's dog, which was some kind of water dog, you would do that. Um, Lassie dog instead of, I don't know what Jack Lassie was. She was in a German Shepherd, she was fluffy. So, so make sure when you're using gifts, when you're doing gifts, that you have ways that people would be looking up that don't know the precise name of that, you know, item. That could go as far as like I was saying, you could do a little um, in one of the other videos. You could do another little shrug. A shrug is a bolero jacket. It's a you know whatever. So you want to make sure that you have um, all the different ways people say things. Okay, I want to write this down so I don't forget this. Okay, so now this is an opal. And I was born in October and opal rings are um, my birthstone. So you want to do gifts for certain horoscopes or birthstones um, because opals, you're not allowed to buy them for yourself, so they always have to be gifts. So this is Cheerful Wren Vintage. So she should have, so she has a very short title, Vintage Mexican Fire Opal Ring, um, mix, Solitaire Rings, Handmade Ring. She does not have... Uh, no, she does not have birthstone rings. She doesn't have October. She doesn't have um, any of those things. So whenever you're selling something, you can just look up birthstones. And if it fits into one of those, you, um, you want to do that. Birthstones, American Gem Society. And you want to get both sets of them. So there's a very specific one, um, like the expensive one. And then there's the cheap one, usually. So, um, so that's important. And then horoscope, horoscopes. Um, and even if you don't believe in horoscopes, if you're selling something with a lion on it, you want to make sure you have Leo in there. 
gift for Leo, gift for Sagittarius for a bowl, um, crabs, you know, all those things. You want to have those gift things because that's a built-in audience for somebody to buy that. Also, wedding anniversaries, right? So if your product is made out of, we did this one the last time. Hang on. Hang on. Is it this one? Okay. Yep. Wood, right? So Crowbar Designs, this shop sells wooden items, right? Um, and so they could be the wood wedding anniversary. And we need to look up which one is that wed, wet. So I'm showing you how to look up all these wedding anniversary. And I always think of these because my husband always gets me these. Um, one of them was a turtle. Oh, no. I need to know the wedding anniversary list. Oh, did I type in wood? Wedding anniversary list. Okay. So we have... I just want the list. Okay, paper, cotton, leather, flowers, wood. Where's the turtle? It had to have been like 14th year. Oh, he got me tin or something like that, a crystal or lace or china, um, pottery. So all those things, wool, copper. Um, so if you make anything with those, make sure that you are uh, using those anniversaries because people look for those things a lot. Um, that's a really big one. Okay, and now our last example is Collected and Cool, and she has some cool stuff here. But this one came to mind. This is a um, recipe box, right? So it has flowers on it. This could be a gift for mom. This could be a gift for gardeners. This could be a gift for cooks, right? You want to think about things. I sell a lot of, um, I've sold several things to gifts for doctors where I buy a vintage doctor bag. I've sold a, like I had a little judge looking statue that I sold for gift for lawyer, judge, attorney, things like that. People are looking for specific gifts for different people depending on it. Now, let's do the hard work. You thought we were done. We, I was just done giving you examples. Now we're going to start thinking about which gifts we're wanting to do. Okay, so let's say gifts for, and then we have men. So we're going to do gifts for and see if it gives us the whole bar across. Gifts for men, gifts for mom, gifts for him. So those are the major ones. So gifts for men is oh and then we get a whole bunch of other ones so gifts for men is over two million results there is christmas gifts for men christmas golf gifts for men how amazing personalized is good unique that is um is a good one gifts for husband gifts for dad so anytime you're doing gifts for yes you can do the plain jane gifts for men but in the bottom you want to do boyfriend husband Men, golf gifts, personalized gifts for men. Let's see if anything else comes out of that. Personalized gifts for boyfriends, for dads, for husbands, right? Valentine's Day gifts. Awesome. Sorry, I just knocked you around. I got very excited about gifts for men, obviously. Gifts for her. Okay, now we're doing gifts for her. 2,300,000. So your chances of ranking as 2,300,000 are slim. We have some more cl clues over here. Gifts for her jewelry, right? Let's see what happens. Gifts for girlfriends, gifts for mom, yeah. sisters, her birthday, Christmas gifts. Okay, all kinds of gifts, right? And then we have gifts for her jewelry, necklaces, earrings, bracelets. So you want to go down that daisy chain to find out gifts for her. Okay, what about their occupation, right? Let me put this in our little occupation. I talked about that a little bit with the lawyer, doctor, things like that. How about gifts for, let's do diff, gifts for doctor, right? Gifts for doctor, and then that is 
51,000 instead of what, 2 million? That's a lot different. Um, personalized gifts for doctors, right? Gifts for doctors. So this is 8,600. Let's see if the S does anything. Nope, same, same, same. Okay, so so 8,000 is a lot better than 2 million. Anything is better than 2 million, right? Um, so hopefully this has helped you think about how to do your gifts. Now, some of these I would put in my title. Like I would put um, on the opal ring, I would put gift for uh, uh, burst October birthstone, right? Um, I would put maybe in the bottom gift for Scorpio or just for Scorpio because we or Scorpio because we always already have gift for. I would put Scorpio because that is the horoscope sign that goes with it. Libra also goes with it. Um, I would put like the major one into your title and then the um, the other related ones in your tags. And we have tons of room for tags. I did a video about how to do your tags. Um, I will link that below as well as the one for your titles. Um, for titles and tags in the description below. If you like videos like this, I do a lot of videos about how to do Etsy SEO as well as how to do e-commerce for Pinterest, all different kinds of things. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more like this, please hit subscribe so that you won't miss any of them. Hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Earthly.